Whatever you were doing at 18, it probably wasn't this impressive. After graduating from high school this year, 18-year-old Jalen Smith, like many of his Gen Z counterparts, wanted to make a difference in his community. But unlike most of them, he did something about it. Jalen actually decided to hop on the campaign trail running for mayor in his small town of Earl, Arkansas. And you know what? He didn't just run for office. He won. And apparently, he tells us, his mom still can't stop crying. And now he's going to be leading this rural city and its 1,800 plus residents as the youngest black mayor in U.S. history when he's sworn in in January. And Democratic mayor-elect Jalen Smith joins me now to discuss his journey and his plans for Earl, Arkansas. Jalen, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for having me. Oh, it's such an honor. So let's just start by, why did you decide to run? Well, it all started in high school with the Student Government Association. And within an organization, we made a difference, but not only in the school district, but we made a difference in my community. And I wanted to do more. And so within an organization, within an organization they drew, that organization drove me where I am today, Mary Lake of Rural Arkansas. Well, it's just incredible. And and what was it like when you found out you won? How did, how did it feel? It felt exciting. I was very grateful, you know, that the people of Earl, Arkansas, led me to be the next youngest, was the first youngest African-American mayor of the nation. So did you have a hard time getting people to take you seriously because you were so young? And if so, how did you respond to that? What did you tell them? Well, I did, I did. Some of them was taking me as a joke, and some of them wasn't. A lot of people in the community wanted to change. Majority of the majority of the people in the community wanted wanted to make wanted to, a change to happen in Earl, Arkansas. And to the people that the people that was taking me seriously, just told me, just give me a chance to get in here in this office and move our city forward. Not only with me, but with the city council and the people working together as one to move our city forward. Amen. Well, your campaign focused on improving transportation, public safety, increasing residents' access to food sources. Tell me why you picked those issues, Jalen. Why are they important to you? Well, I picked public safety because our police department is not 24-7 police department. And we have to rely on the county when they're, when they're not at work to come to the calls. They take them about 30 minutes to get to Earl, you know, from all across the county. And if we have our police officers, our police officers respond quickly and effectively to those calls. And the reason why I picked, you know, a grocery store, because we had a grocery store, also a grocery store in our city years ago. And we want to bring that back because it's hard for our elderly and our people to travel to and from, from Earl to West Memphis, Arkansas, Wynn, Arkansas, to Walmart to get the groceries or to a grocery store to get groceries. We can have one right within the city of Earl, Arkansas. I love it. You have put so much thought into this. And Jalen, not are you just, you know, a, a, an inspiration for both the black community and Generation Z, but you also told us you were diagnosed with a learning disability, which you said makes it hard, you know, to do well on standardized tests, but you clearly didn't let anything get in the way of your campaign and running for mayor. Tell me what inspires you, who inspires you, what kept you moving forward? Well, my family kept me moving forward. I was raised by a village of people. I wasn't raised by a single mother. I was raised by a village of people that motivated me daily, and I was very disciplined, and uh, it motivated me to always do great things, you know, live that dream you wanted to live. And I always believed in myself. I can do uh, what I uh, do, what God ordered me to do. And so this is one of the assignments God put on my heart to do to make a difference within Earl, Arkansas. And don't worry about the negative comments that, you know, that, that, that are that coming to me. But, and I use those negative comments as motivation to prove those people wrong, you know. Yeah. You sure did prove them wrong and you are a shining light, Mr. Mayor. So here's our question. Uh, do you have your eyes set on Washington, maybe a member of Congress, a Senator, President of the United States? How far are you gonna take this? I'm going, I'm praying to become the president of the United States one day. Amen to that. And by the way, I understand you're still living at home. So is mom a special advisor to you? I'm just curious. <laughs> she, she's, she's my kind of my, my supporter, my motivational person that motivates me to keep moving forward. 
your pre your press secretary, right? <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Yes. All right. All right. So your advice to others, your age, younger, older, uh, to pursue a career in politics, but they think they might not be able, they may not have what it takes. What do you say to them? I, I would say to them, do what your heart desire. You know, uh, God put us on this earth to be successful in different ways. If you have a heart of, and you have a heart of making a difference or being in politics, whatever that dream you may be, Pursue that dream, regardless of what people say to you. Continue to push forward and use that motivation as move and use that negative activity uh, as motivation to prove those people wrong. Oh, that's such great advice. I'm curious: is is anybody home with you right now, or are you there on your own? I'm actually at the office right now. Uh, oh, you are at the are, office. They're, they're Oh yeah. my goodness, you are in your office. Okay, well, that is just fantastic. It, it, you just tell your staff how impressed we are. We're excited for you. We want to follow every move that you make. Stay in touch with us, Jalen. We want to follow your career and what you do for your community. Is that a deal? Yes, deal. I sure would do okay. that. Okay, good. And the reason why I asked if you were at home, because I want to see if your mom was there. I had to give her a shout out. Make sure you tell your mom she is amazing and she did a great job, okay? Sure will. I sure will do that. All right. Mayor-elect Jalen Smith, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.